Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to talk about my top five favorite medium coverage foundations. All of the foundations that I'm going to mention in this video, they're no surprise for you if you're watching me for a for quite some time, these five foundations really work for my skin. I've got combination skin when it's a warmer season, meaning that it's oily on the T-zone and very, very dry on the cheeks. On a winter, my skin becomes extremely dry everywhere. Like I've got almost no sebum on the T-zone. I don't know why this this big change, but this is how my skin is like. I'm not very, very sensitive, but I've got a lot of acne scars. I've got hyperpigmentation in here from the sun. I've got huge, large pores, and all of the foundations that I'm gonna mention really work for me to cover my blemishes, to give my skin a very beautiful, even look. Before we get into it, make sure that you've subscribed to my youtube channel click on that ring bell button so you'll be notified whenever i'm posting new videos now let's get into it number five on my list is the makeup forever ultra hd foundation this is a foundation that i used to use a lot back when i was doing bridal makeup and just events in general this still is a very very good foundation in photos and also in video. It has a medium coverage. It's a very buildable coverage. I recommend this to be used uh, with a sponge or with your fingers and like tapping it like this. Don't, it's not the kind of foundation that you want to rub it into the skin or at least this is my opinion about this foundation. It has this ability of looking beautiful on so many skin types. I haven't used it in uh, quite a while. I should keep it close so I can use it soon and just show you guys how this foundation looks like. But it's makeup artist's favorite. It's like a cult product. It's available in so many shades. It's super easy to find the undertone of this foundation. They start with Y if it has a yellow undertone and with R if it has a red, if you have a red undertone. I've been a huge fan of Makeup Forever brand. I've met Danny Sands by accident in Paris and she is the creator of Makeup Forever. She was so nice and you know now Makeup Forever is a huge brand but, but she was the one who originally created the brand. So yeah, this is my uh, number five. Number four would be the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is still a gorgeous foundation. It glides on so beautiful, it's so luminous. It becomes one with the skin. It looks beautiful in pictures. If you're a makeup artist at the beginning of uh, your career, you probably want to invest in one of these two foundations because they're amazing and everybody loves them. It has such a good texture and covers without leaving the skin looking like a mask. It's quite expensive, but it's the kind of foundation that it's totally worth the money. Uh, a downside about this is that the packaging is glass, but if you're just a normal consumer, then you would love this. It's very expensive looking. It's no surprise, you guys know that I love this foundation a lot. All right, next one on my list is the Dior Backstage. Again, no surprise for you. You guys know I love this and I've got a lot of reasons to love this. If you've tried it and you think this is not a medium coverage, let me tell you that this is a buildable foundation, first of all. So you could apply it in multiple layers. It's for face and body. It's the kind of foundation that it will not transfer. I wouldn't say like no transfer at all, but can, cannot compare in a million years with most of the foundations on the market. This is like super, it sticks to your skin, stays there, very long lasting, at least on my skin. Super versatile, very flexible. The downside is that it has a lot of alcohol, which on the other hand, it makes it set so very easy and fast. If you're a makeup artist and you want to apply fast foundation on a model or on a client, this is your guy and like I said it's buildable so you can work with it the way you want this is what I love about this foundation and it comes in so many shades you've got 40 shades of this foundation and they're so well 
label like you've got warm olive peach uh, like it, it's just so easy to find your color I think um, the whole backstage uh, collection actually is very good I love that it comes in a plastic bottle but even if it's a, in a plastic bottle it, it doesn't look cheap it feels compact it's well built this applies amazing with a brush but of course you could apply it with beauty blender I just feel like it's very liquidy so with very liquidy uh, foundations I would prefer to apply it with the brush else the sponge tends to like suck all of that product and you don't want that you don't want to waste product inside your beauty blender or your sponge I would say the finish of this foundation is more demi matte it's not a very luminous foundation not the same consistency as the luminous silk this is more on the matte or semi matte finish but I do like it a lot next one is NARS Sheer Glow. <gasps> My heart is in this little bottle. <laughs> I love this foundation. This is such a good foundation. It's luminous. It feels like an expensive cream. I love to apply it with my fingers as well. It has a very luxurious consistency. Perfect if you've got very dry skin because it will not have that kind of pigment that will like stay on, on peach fuzz or get into those pores and like look weird. Like such an elastic foundation beautiful beautiful and what I love about NARS in general is the fact that their foundations are more towards the warmer tones like even if they say it's neutral it's still not that neutral they go a little bit more warmer which I personally love the downside is that you have to buy the the pump separately like I don't understand brands who do that like why like I'm trying to understand the concept it's maybe because you know if you finish the bottle then you could just repurchase the bottle without buying the pump like I find that very weird there should be like a law like the law of makeup you have to have a pump God, you guys know I love NARS but I hate this situation so far I've bought like four pumps I'm not I'm not even kidding I've bought four pumps and I can tell you like it's spitting the foundation like I, I keep it like this because I don't want to have it all over my t-shirt am I having just bad luck or it happened to you as well let me know in the comments a good thing about this is that it does not have alcohol so keep that in mind number one medium coverage foundation it comes from the same brand is uh, the SNARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. It's what I have on my skin right now. This is a very unique formula. Very unique formula, meaning that it's super thin. I don't think this one has alcohol. I'll look on the ingredients, but I don't think this one has alcohol. One pump, one pump. You could apply it with your fingers if you want it more you know, towards the sheer zone, or you could apply it with the brush if you want a bit more coverage. And if you want like heavy duty coverage, you could apply it with a beauty blender. But I can tell you this, nothing looks like this in pictures. It's so incredibly beautiful and it just gives you that even tone. I love this guy. Again, comes in a bunch of colors. Is this good for dry skin? I wouldn't use it for dry skin. If you have dry skin and flaky, don't use this. You're going to hate it. If your skin is combination or oily, you're gonna love this. You use this, it covers, you're gonna love it. It has a demi-matte finish. I wouldn't say it's completely matte. They say it's radiant. Don't think about radiant as in dewy. It's radiant meaning that it, it just gives you that even skin tone. And all of a sudden that tired skin, that dull skin, if you have it, it just goes away. Like I said, this one can be applied with whatever you want. And this foundation would, would just not let me down. I love it so much. My, I would say that my perfect match would be Fiji, the color Fiji. I'll put my color in the description uh, down below. This is it, guys. These are my top five favorite foundations. I do have others that I like, but like these are 
my favorite. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you've subscribed to my YouTube channel. Click on that ring bell button so you will not miss any of my videos. Follow me on Instagram as well. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!